Wild tigers do a lot of things that seem physically impossible, like leaping as many as 30 feet onto the backs of fleeing prey, or swimming through floods that no other cat would even wade in. Tigers are also capable of bouncing back from extremely close encounters with the forces of extinction, which they will do if we give them the chance. That means finding ways to thwart the vicious tiger poaching gangs that are now equipped with helicopters and the latest automatic weapons. And to solve the problems faced by tiny groups of tigers that are trapped inside disconnected fragments of the wildlands they used to thrive in. These are some of the main reasons why tiger counts in Asia have fallen from about 100,000 in about 1900 to as few as 4,000 today. That is a decline that has led some cynics to conclude that it is now too late to save these stunning creatures from extinction in the wild. But we say the critics are wrong, and here's why. First, we know that tiny groups of tigers tend to grow and prosper when their isolated habitats are reconnected. Scientists with the World Wildlife Fund have made that job easier by identifying the most important of these isolated habitats and figuring out the best ways to link some of them back together again. Secondly, we are convinced that tiger poaching can be stopped by a well-funded global effort to protect the tiger's homelands and to crack down on the black markets that sell tiger parts to Asian buyers. Third, and perhaps most importantly, we know that wild tigers breed like well, cats. What that means is that if we find a way to leave these tigers be, it will not be long before they start to breed their way back from the brink. And if we can hold the course, there could be twice as many tigers in the wildlands of Asia than there are now in a little more than a decade. Those are scientific calculations, not guesses. But knowing what to do and how to do it will not count for much if we don't do it now. If we wait much longer, we could end up losing one of the most important wild animals in all of human history because we never got around to saving it. This is the World Wildlife Fund. I'm John Nielsen.